We're going to start with number 14. With number 14, we're being asked to write an equation in point-slope form at the line that passes through the given point with the given slope. And we are given 3 comma 1 and m is equal to 2. What do you think that I'd like to see you write above this before we start? Let's write the form. And in this case, this is our x, this is our y, here's our slope. So we're going to rewrite this as y minus what number? Mm -hmm. Equals, what do I put in place of the m? Mm -hmm. Parenthesis, x minus 3. Minus three. I'm going to be giving you some problems down below. If you look down at 28 to 33, it says sketch the graph of the equation. Well, we're going to sketch the graph of the equation really quickly here. Just draw a really quick xy chart, or um, I'm sorry, x and y axes, make a coordinate plane. We're going to take our point, 3 comma 1, and we're going to make a pretty good guesstimate of where that would be on our sketched graph. Here's 0, so my 3 would probably be about here, yes? And my 1 would probably be about here. That is the point, 3 comma 1, on my sketched graph. What's my slope? How many lines do I need to be able to graph that, or how many points do I need to make the line? I need two. So if I take the slope and I go up two over one. one, two, and one over, I can make what's another point. That's because there's an invisible one. There's an invisible one that's our run, so rise over run. And that is a sketch of our line. If you want to be more specific than this, once we hit work time, I will put out some graph paper. Okay, it doesn't have to be sketches if you want to be like, I need those points so I make sure I'm doing this correctly. Does that look like it would be a slope of about two? Yeah. So for practice tonight, or actually today, because we're going to have some time, on this, let's put it at the top of the page, on page 67, I want you to do problems 22 through 25 and then you're going to do 28 through 31. We're going to do 32 together right now because it doesn't come with this lovely here's a point and here's our slope. Instead, you're given equations. So here's what 32 looks like. y minus 1 equals 5 over 4 times x plus 2. In order to sketch the graph of this, we have to pull the xy pair out of this, don't we? Mm -hmm. This is my x. And in the equation, it's positive. So what does that mean about the xy pair? It's going to be the opposite. So it's going to be a. So here's my xy pair, negative 2. This is my y. And in the equation, it's negative. So in the pair, it's going to be. Remember, because in our equation, you always have to go back. The original formula of this form has a negative and a negative. If there is a number here and that negative is still there, that number originally was a positive. positive. And if it gets changed to a positive, that means in the xy pair it was a negative. Because the two negatives changed it to a positive.
opposites. What's our slope here? m equals 5 over 4. So let's make a quick sketch of a graph. I'm going to graph negative 2, positive 1 as my point. I start at the origin, I go which direction? For the ordered pair, I have to start with x is negative 2, y is positive 1, there it is. And my slope is 5 over 4. I don't think I have room to rise up 5 here, do I? I'm going to drop down 5 then. If this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's going to be about there. And then I'm going to run 4. Is this a positive or a negative slope? Positive. So my line has to go this way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to run to the left. It's going to be about here. Why did you go down? Because I didn't have room to go up. So you can go up or down? It's a y-axis. Remember, we've talked about rise is either up or down, and run is either left or right. We know that this has to be a positive graph because our slope is positive. So if I went down, I also need to go to the left. Going down is negative, to the left is negative. Negative and negative is positive. Okay, we're going to do a couple more practices, but I need you to change the page to page 73. Actually, no, I'm going to hold off on that. We'll do 73 tomorrow. So, we're going to do 23 to 25, 28 to 31, with the first part, you just need to write the equation. With the last four, you need to find an ordered pair and slope and graph it. And I will put out graph paper if you want. We will come back tomorrow and work on some things for 2, 3, because I don't want to confuse things and I want to give you time. So with our time left, and we have right about 20 minutes, you can work on this in the book with assistance from myself if you need it. You can also go back and be working on the rest of this activity from yesterday for practice.